What's up everyone? You're watching Let's Play with Fire. I'm Fire Princess and today we are playing the Ye Old Royal Kingdom Challenge. Continuing it anyway. We are playing with the Dreamers today and by the way, something went a little uh, wrong with the Dreamers and you'll see what I mean in just a second. But in case you didn't see my last video, I am moving, so things are kind of a mess in the background, sorry. We did just go under contract with a house, so yay, we're excited, we're moving. We sold this place, we're going to the new place, but we're kind of homeless for a month in between because we closed on our current home sooner than our new home is going to close, so we're gonna go live with family for a little bit. But because of that, I cannot get any videos out for November, but then I will keep chugging ones out in December because we'll be home and moved in and all that good stuff by then. Enough about me, let's get going with the Dreamers. See what I mean about something a little weird at the Dreamers house? We last left them with Mary and Dirk Dreamer, but suddenly we have, oh, I don't know, Cecilia, and we also have Adam and they aren't even twins they just both happen to be born separately i had turned on darlene's pregnancy um also by the way <clears throat> yes she's also pregnant <laughs> so you know it's just great right now i don't even know where all these children are oh here there's one over here yeah there's four kids here right now none of them are actually well, Mary and Dirk, I think, are, but Cecilia and Adam aren't even twins, but I'm just gonna have them age at the same time because I can't, that's just gonna be easier to keep track of. And then we also have however many babies are in her belly right now. When I turned off the pregnancy, like allow pregnancy, whatever, with Darlene so that she wouldn't lose her pregnancy when we switched out of the house, her and Darren just, decided that they would just keep having babies while I was gone and away from the household and now look at where we're at. All those parties you were invited to that you snuck off with your wife to go woohoo in a bed that wasn't yours have now resulted in this mess of a household, so thanks. Oh, did I mention that, uh, yeah, they have zero dollars? Okay, I'm not, I'm not bitter at all here. No, not, not even a little bit. We're gonna do some, uh, baby care here. <laughs> try and get some of this done and taken care of. Oh yeah, Dirk looks like he's okay, pretty much. Oh, because he was just breastfed, that's good. Remember, I am taking names for, like, baby names from you guys, so if you have any baby name suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I will add them to my little randomizer that I made for baby names now that you guys are listing suggestions for me, so anything and everything, please send me stuff and I will add it. We are gonna need all those baby names if the dreamers are gonna continue the way that they are going. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose I should be getting some more cribs here. Oh wait, but they have no money. Okay, never mind. Two of their kids are gonna be just on the ground. You know what? Okay, this is what's gonna happen. Darren, you're gonna put down Mary because you don't need to be holding her right now. The consequences of your action is that you're gonna miss Mary and Dirk's birthday today because you need to go earn us some money and go play some tunes somewhere. Let's see, he hates the outdoors. That's one of his traits. So I don't think he'd be playing outside to earn tips, but I do think that he would go somewhere like maybe to the festival grounds right here, the Southern Terminate grounds, mostly because they're right next door. So it'll be easy for us to go over and earn some money that way. By the way, Mary and Dirk's birthday is today, <laughs> mostly because I'm making it so. And <laughs> we're gonna have them aged to toddlers. So we at least have two toddlers and then just the two babies. Uh, needless to say, there's probably gonna be a lot of birthdays this round. I don't even know what a consequence would be for not paying the taxes. I gotta double check the challenge to see if there are any rules in regards to that for now. We'll see if we can even earn 200 simoleons to pay tax. So he doesn't like to be out here, but we can maybe have him hide kind of like under the building over here. So he's not quite like he's outside, but he's not like in the bathrooms trying to earn money for tips. You know what I mean? Like he's not that level of desperate. <laughs> or maybe we are. Darren moved over here a little bit, but at least he's uh, in a decent spot, I think, because a lot of the sims will show up. Um, and arrive at the bathrooms and then come out. He's got a guitar skill level seven, so he might be able to make a decent amount of tips so long as more people show up. We only had one kid show, so, you know, we're gonna hope some adults with money show. Hey, Daniel Pleasant's here. Okay, keep at it, Darren. Good luck. 
we're gonna go check out the party that you're missing. I did invite everyone over that are her friends. She didn't really have like a party want, but I think we can get away with uh, like the Brokes coming over and some of the other peasants like Zephyr and Clarice because she's actually friends with a lot of them. She was friends with Bella Goss too, but I, f I didn't invite Bella. I feel like Bella's probably too busy to come to a peasant party. <laughs> Hopefully Coral shows up even though she's a little bit higher class because we do need her midwifery skills. It's a little too early I think right now. Uh, maybe. I don't think Darlene looks too huge yet so we probably have some time before she's due. I'm not exactly sure how far along she is. Play base at the park. I'm gonna lock that in because Darlene probably is gonna need a break at some point and she can go kind of tag out with Darren and go earn some tips somewhere. Oh good, it looks like Brandy's just showing up. Let's go ahead and stop relaxing and go greet Grand <laughs> Grandy. We'll greet Brandy even. <laughs> Brandy, welcome. I'm gonna need your daycare services because yeah, just take a look around the house here. Oh, wow, we gotta mop our front entrance, goodness gracious. Oh, the door just slammed on Zephyr, sorry. What? Zephyr likes, does not like our house, <laughs> apparently. All right, fine. Yeah, you're right, Darlene, you do need money. <laughs> Hopefully Darren's making some, but I'm seeing zero dollars still, so I don't think he's having any luck. <gasps> yes, look at that, 24 simoleons. Someone's donating money to us. Oh, someone else just showed up. Darlene, go let John in. Ooh, I don't know if Darren would play too much longer in the rain. He already hates the outdoors and he's getting rained on. <gasps> oh crap. I guess the baby was here a lot sooner than I was expecting. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Is Coral even here? Coral was supposed to come so it's a good thing we invited her but oh here we go. Oh my gosh. She's coming but she's holding on to Lilith. <laughs> Look at this slow moving midwife over here walking in the rain. Her guests have no idea that she just got out here and like <laughs> immediately went into labor after inviting John in. Oh boy. Come on Coral, walk faster. Walk faster. Since she is having her baby, I do need to get my little randomizer out. I've put in the name suggestions that I've got so far. Thank you to those of you who have submitted names already. I really appreciate it. Oh goodness. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure she's gonna make it. Oh, Brandy, look at that good daycare, Brandy. Oh my gosh, she knows. She's like, I got you. She's like, I'll help Dirk. I don't know why Darlene hasn't come back in the house, but I'll help her. Zephyr, don't you see what's happening? Yes, see, look, look what's happening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging this pain. We got a baby girl. Of course, Coral didn't arrive on time, but she'll be here to check on mom and baby after the fact. We get a couch potato and great kisser traits. Those aren't too bad. I used the randomizer that I created from your guys' suggestions and I got Elizabeth. So Elizabeth is our little baby's name. Welcome to the world, Elizabeth. Is this our only one? <laughs> okay, it looks like it's a single one, so that's good at least. We're gonna age Cecilia and Adam. I'm gonna add a day to their age basically so that Elizabeth isn't the exact same age as those two as well. I have got to say those wood textures look great for medieval hoods because this is one of the woods on here and I mean look at that it just looks like like uh, just the perfect little blanket for her and it's supposed to be a wood texture so you know it works. John even picked up Mary. Thanks John. Well, you put her right back down, but you know, there was an attempt. I love Brandy, guys. I, I want her to live forever, please. <laughs> Cause she's just the most helpful thing. Actually, I wonder what's the cheapest crib because Darren out there has earned a little bit of money for us. Maybe we can get a crib. $50 wood crib. We have enough for two more cribs, guys. Yay. Let me place these somewhere. I don't know where I have room for this, but I'll try. We're left with a dollar, but look, we have cribs now. We just need one more to make up for the extra child that we have. Oh, look, there's Coral. Let's have a conversation with her real fast. And then while we're chatting with her, we'll do the age ups for the others. Let's just make sure that the others that I'm trying to age up are on the ground. Yes, it looks like Darren's actually making a decent amount of money right now. He must have a lot of people watching him. Okay, Adam, let me just double check my notes, make sure he's the right one to age up. No, he is not. Okay, Dirk and Mary are the ones that are supposed to age up. See what I mean? I'm already confused with all these children. Oh, Mary. <laughs> She's not impressed. Dude, apparently I just need to leave Darren and forget about him <laughs> because 
He's got quite the crowd there. Too many people. Oh, Thomas is the one. Oh, and Arnold Montel. Yep, I bet Thomas and Arnold Montel are like just dropping money on Darren. Yes. Thank you, Thomas. I'm most excited to see what Dirk looks like, see how he compares to his Sims 2 equivalent. Definitely gonna have to fix you two. They both have that nose, my goodness. Here is Mary Dreamer. I got rid of some of that eyebrow game she had. That was just a little too much for a toddler. Give her some cute little buns. And last but not least, here is Dirk. He has pretty similar look to Mary with that nose, but I'm sure they'll grow into it as they get older. And, uh... There you are. Oh my gosh, look at that look he's giving us. Hi, Dirk. <laughs> Freaking look at what Darlene wants right now. Another baby! She just had one! <laughs> Dang her freaking surrounded by family lifetime wish. She's family oriented, so of course she wants some. I'll lock it in, but I'm not gonna actively try unless Darren wants one. I'll let him uh, play for tips for a little bit longer. This is so good what he's getting right now. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm gonna let him stay out there. Darlene is gonna say goodbye. Thanks everyone for coming. Sorry I ended up having to need to have my baby in the middle of everything. What? Oh my goodness. Zephyr, Willowcliff, and Octavian Ward have have been hitting it off lately. Zephyr, you don't know what you're getting into with this one. Since Darren made so much money playing for tips yesterday, I think we can kind of take a break a bit from that today and do some toddler skilling, especially since we have two here. The only wants we have towards that are teaching Mary how to walk from Darren, and then Darlene wants to teach Dirk to walk and Mary potty train. Dirk's on top of it this morning and he even went outside to show Mary how to walk. Granted, that's probably the only spot they have room for that, but still. Sounds like Darlene's just getting dirt going. Good, good. Although Cecilia needs a diaper change, but we'll we'll give it just a little bit. Well, I didn't quite get there with the Dirk or Mary for learning how to walk. They're both about halfway there, but the babies needed attention. I'm on Adam now, giving him some love. He needed some food desperately, actually. I don't know. I don't remember if the social worker comes in Sims 3, but I would be shocked if they didn't come soon because he was starving. Pretty much the rest of their day is going to be just need management with the babies, so nothing too exciting. So we're going to move right on along to some more plan for tips. We'll have Darlene go out and see. Let's see. Where should she go? She's not scared of the outdoors, so she can go. She wants to go to a park. Oh my god. God, they're gonna try for a freaking baby. No wonder they end up with a million children. So about those baby names I need from you guys. <laughs> We're about to need more. Darlene is on a mission to spread as many dreamers into this world as possible. <laughs> oh boy. Dark, you don't have to come watch, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and Mary's joining now too. <laughs> Oh jeez, let's just scar these little children immediately. Wow, it went through and everything. They're like, no issues whatsoever, let's try for a baby. <laughs> I didn't hear a noise, that's a good sign, right? Right guys, right? They're at it again, except this one's just a normal woohoo, so maybe the risky woohoo won't go off, but... <laughs> I have a feeling I know where this episode is going. I just, I can't keep up with you two. There's not gonna be room for anyone at this point. Look who's about to learn how to use the potty. Darren actually wanted to help potty trainer and Darlene, so they both made sure to get Mary potty trained. So she, she learned it pretty quick. I'm glad. One less thing for us to worry about once we have four toddlers wandering around. <laughs> there we go. Darlene's managed to find some time between all that woohooing to play for tips over at the Tovar Church here. Here is the lot if you want to see it. Just literally pretty much across the street from them, so not too far. They're not having to go too far out of the way to come play here since she doesn't really want to be too far from her kids. We do need to earn some money today, and I think it's Darlene's turn to get out of the house and away from the kids as much as she doesn't want to be. But as you can tell, the rain, like it's a really crappy day today. There's a ton of heavy rain, and it's just not a good day. So we're just going to play for tips inside the church here if we can. Whoops. 
Let's try and get her to face the right direction so she's not facing the wall. Well, she's still kind of facing a wall, but it's at least a little better than what it was. And I don't know that she's going to make a lot of money today just because of how dreary it is. I don't think a lot of Sims are really going to be exploring today, but we'll try. We'll, we'll leave her here to hopefully get some tips. Darren's back home. He's on daddy duty today. And oh boy, looks like the toddlers have made a mess here. And yeah, as expected, there's not really anyone. Now that the rain's cleared up though, we might be a little bit better. What is going on at Tovar Church? There's a snake. There's a lot of skeletons. I'm a little concerned. It's probably a good thing that Darren made a decent amount of money yesterday. <laughs> but uh, it looks like we do have some Sims sort of showing up. That's good. It's uh, Clarice Heron and Mary Langrick. Hello. Hello, you two. I don't know that they really have any money to share with us, but we'll, we'll hang out a little bit longer. Oh, look at poor Mary. She's watching Darlene play and she's just having a little breakdown. She's crying over Kaylin. Poor little thing. Here we go with Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. Not a lot of hair on Adam, but he's looking pretty good so far. Let's get Cecilia aged as well. There we go. Oh my gosh, she's got the same hair as Adam. I kind of love it, actually, because we're calling them twins. <laughs> All right, let me fix them real fast, and we will see what they look like. Here's the lovely Cecilia. They all have their father's nose. I figured it out. He's the one that has that big gap between his lip and his nose, but he has, like, facial hair, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, the toddlers are too young to hide that, so... Thanks, Darren, for all these lovely noses. And here's Adam. I kind of love Adam's look. It's a much better, like, combination between Darren and Darlene. So his nose, like, it's still high, but it's not nearly as, like, obvious looking, if that makes sense. It makes more sense with his face. These two are going to be hard to tell apart. My goodness. Oh, look at this. Darlene got an invitation to go to Zephyr's party. Um, yes. Casual attire. She's totally going to show up. Maybe she can earn a little bit more tips. She did earn about 100 simoleons today, but I'm hoping maybe this party means that she can play at the party and earn just a little bit more for us here. Darlene's making her way through the rain to get to Zephyr's party, so Zephyr better appreciate her going. <laughs> Goodness gracious, she's got to be freezing. We finally made it to Zephyr's party. Looks like it's just Darlene and Zephyr right now. At least they got out of the rain. They're kind of in her little barn-like area there. Let's see if anyone else is here though. <laughs> no. <laughs> she might have just thrown a party for two. Well, these two are just gonna have a girls' night, so we will catch up with him later. Look at what is out here right now. We haven't seen an alien this whole time, and now they're out and about in our medieval hood. Hello, Sapea. Welcome. Zephyr was nice enough to give Darlene her bed to sleep in because it was way too rainy of a night and she was far too far from home to try and make it in the dark. So she just stayed here, got a decent amount of sleep without all the toddlers around. So she's gonna wake up now um, just because the toddlers need her and we need to try and get some skills learned because Mary and Dirk only have like one more day before they need to age up so I'd like to try and finish out some of their skills. I've only been doing what Darlene and Darren have been wanting to teach them so they don't necessarily know everything but I do want to give them time to learn what they do want to teach them. Oh of course we're out of ingredients we can't make anything she's so hungry okay well we're gonna go to the grocery store because luckily it's right over here um, I believe that's a church, but it's, oh yeah, yeah, it's the next building over. So thank goodness that they live so close to the grocery store because she can immediately grab some ingredients here. Let's see what we have. Let's shop by recipe. We'll do some autumn salads, just two, because it's not like we're made of money here. Maybe some peanut butter and jellies too. That's only a hundred simoleons. That should be enough for them to get by for the next few days. I swear, Cecilia loves making a mess. She is the one that's made all of these little messes all over the house. I don't think there's any more over here. Yeah, it's just these two right now, but I, she's literally like, she'll wander around, make a mess, wander around, make a mess. I'm like, goodness gracious, Cecilia, you're a little terror. Dirk's about to learn how to talk. Come on, Dirk, just a little bit more. He'll definitely get that today. What you doing, Cecilia? 
Okay, I think she's just, I don't know. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, Cecilia. Dude, she's at it again. Look at her. Oh my goodness. She won't stop. Cecilia. Darlene's still trying to get Mary to learn how to talk. She's pretty far away, but we still have uh, like a whole day, so we still have time to get them there. Um, Dirk did learn how to talk, but it's actually Elizabeth's birthday now, so we're gonna take Elizabeth out of the crib, maybe give her some love real fast, because she could use some social. This is the round of birthday parties. All right, Elizabeth, time to age up amongst the dirt and other nasty material on the ground. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> no one even wanted to throw a party for her. Like, they're just so overwhelmed that they're like, no, parties don't happen in this house. <laughs> oh boy, she's got the same hair. I think I'm gonna give her a different hairstyle just because I want her to look a little different. So let me fix her. This is Elizabeth. Look at her. I love her face. It looks a lot more like um, how Adams did, where it's more a good mix of the genetics instead of just one really strong nose or another. <laughs> Mary's learning how to walk over here. She's a little stinky because she was, you know, making messes, but <laughs> she's getting there. We'll, we'll get her a bath in just a minute, or I guess just change her diaper. I don't know that we can really give her a bath in this one, but here we go. Darlene, what are you doing? Okay, Darlene wants to uh, teach Adam how to walk, so she's gonna focus on that for a second. Oh, Dirk still needs to learn how to walk, does he? Hmm, maybe we should go check out Dirk over there. Since he's gonna age up first before Adam would, we might wanna focus more on Dirk. Today's gonna be a big skilling day again. I'm just trying to make sure we get all the toddlers the skills that they need. Aha, there it is, and that means I can save that one, woohoo. I am happy to report that none of those woohoos have so far made Darlene pregnant. <laughs> so we don't have any extra kids that will be showing up anytime soon, at least. Naturally, it's Cecilia that's playing in the pond. <laughs> I swear, we might as well save the slob trait for her because I'm pretty sure that's what she is. Or maybe adventurous, but no, I'm thinking more slob with all those messy piles and then getting messy in the pond. Hmm, we'll have to think of a good trait to fix to fit that, but I do think it's probably slob. <laughs> what do you guys think? Here's Dirk's potty train. Let's save Elizabeth's learn how to walk. I thought Dirk was potty trained like ages ago, but apparently not. <laughs> Glad that we were able to squeeze that in. I think a lot of them are starting to get pretty tired though, so I don't know that we're gonna get any last second learning in. So unfortunately, that's about as far as we get. But tomorrow is Mary and Dirk's birthdays. So unless they learn anything else in the morning, we're gonna move forward with their birthday party. Well, no one really wants a party, but at least their birthdays. No, Zephyr, no. Don't move the relationship to the next level. So let's go kiss Darlene, because Darren wants to, of course. So we'll give her a little kiss. There we go. Snag that one in. Oh, nice. So it looks like Dirk is just about to learn how to walk. He's a lot closer than I thought he was, so he'll definitely get that before the party, which means he has all three skills and no negative consequences for not learning all of his toddler skills. Let's see how close Mary is to learning how to talk. I think that's the last skill she needs to learn. Where are we at with that? Oh, we're not quite as close. Um, I'll give them till noon to learn. I think they should get there, but... You never know. It's, Darren's not uh, family oriented like Darlene is, so he he's not going to teach Mary quite as quickly as Darlene can teach Dirk. If this isn't dedication, I don't know what is. They are out here in the rain, learning how to talk, and she totally got it. We are able to get there. They've learned all three of their skills. Adam, what are you? Dang it, Adam, making a mess <laughs> as soon as your mom puts you down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's get these, uh, let's get Mary and Dirk aged to kids so we have slightly less toddlers in this household. <laughs> we'll start with Mary here, see what she looks like. I was hoping maybe when they woke up this morning we might get one, but I don't think we're gonna get very many birthday ones considering, like, I have aging technically turned off. We may not actually see that. Ooh, we get to choose our trait though. So she is Mary's hydrophobic and clumsy 
and a genius Ooh, so that means even though she's a peasant she can read and now it's Dirk's turn all right come on Dirk Elizabeth is coming to watch probably the only one yep Darren's just gonna walk right on by <laughs> Excellent parenting skills mean we get to choose it. Clumsy and party animal. Workaholic, ooh, okay. Workaholic normally means that we'd be able to choose their career a lot sooner so that we could start working towards skill points sooner so that they kind of get ahead in whatever career they end up getting into. But Dirk is actually the heir for the business, the, I guess, musical business. <laughs> Cause all they do is play for tips and like they're in a band technically. Here is Mary. It's not helping her getting older <laughs> with that nose. <laughs> Oh, but here's her dress. She's got a cute little dress with the apron. Mary is not at all happy about this situation. <laughs> oh, Mary. Here is Dirk. I actually kind of love how he looks. Like, the features look a lot better on him. Those sharp, like, look at that the cheek jawline, whatever that is. The nose is still kind of high, but it's not quite as, like, upturned, I think, as Mary's. But he looks kind of cute. I kind of love that hairstyle on him, too. Oh my goodness, Dirk just looks so emo with this hair. <laughs> um, maybe it'll grow longer as he ages. Like, as he's a teenager, it'll get to, like, his shoulders, and maybe we'll show it growing in length as he ages. Let's do our one true hobby and sub hobby rolls real fast. So I got a randomized one true hobby for Mary of science. So I'm kind of excited about that, but let's fix this so we can actually see what the science roll is. Chemistry station. Ah, oh, but that would, that's witches only. So we're going to have to try again. So I'm just going to type that so it changes. Transfiguration. Oh, she's going to try and dabble in the art of transfiguration. And for Dirk, I'm just going to delete my one here so we reroll. Fitness. So let's change this to fitness. Swimming in the ocean. No, that's kind of fun. All we have left to set up with Mary and Dirk, his face is throwing me off, is to choose their schools. So we just want to make sure we choose the homeschooled option so that they don't actually try to go to school or anything. We do not need that. Oh look, he does want to throw a party. Someone actually wants to throw a party. With that, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. It is a little bit early to stop playing. We do have plenty of days left in the season, but uh, Darlene and Darren are just going to do more skilling with the toddlers and getting tips and all that sort of thing. I just, I really don't have a lot of time to record. So I am going to end it here. We got a ton of birthdays in. Again, I won't be able to release anything in November just with all the moving and the crazy and there will be no computer access. So anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much for being here. I hope you didn't mind the kind of low-key run today with lots of birthdays and just kind of hanging out at the Dreamer house. Thank you, and I will see you next time.